Again? Is it the same dream? Yes, the usual. But this time, it's different, Clara. It felt so real. You were screaming too. I did. His face. I still can't recognize him. But the way he looks at me, he knows me. Don't worry. It's just a nightmare, so I guess it's okay to scream. How about I'll make us some coffee? Yes, please. I need it. Sure, honey. It's 5 a.m. anyway, so I might as well. is afraid of crowns. Come on, come here and listen to me. Hmm? When your mother and I were still dating, one day I surprised her with tickets for the holiday on ice show. It was our first month together as a couple. Well, everything was going great. The music, the skills of the ice skaters until the comedy skit came along and the performers were, you know what? Clowns. She freaked out. But why then? Clowns are funny. Well, maybe for us, but not for your mother. I don't know, maybe it's because clowns don't show their real faces. Sometimes, things that look human, but aren't quite there, can be uncomfortable. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, Daddy. So now, get rid of it and apologize to your mother, okay? Yes, Daddy.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, honey. Good morning, daddy. Where's Anton? Sitting in one corner, feeling guilty, I guess. By the way, honey, this came in for you today from the office. Okay. Why are you smiling? I think that's the biggest one I've seen so far. Why? <laughs> I'm so sorry, mommy. Apology is accepted. Everybody listen. Clara, it's a very good news. I'll be handling a project. And where? Where? In the Philippines. Really? <laughs> wow. Philippines? Yes. So excited. Mommy, Daddy, finally we can go there. <laughs> Do you remember the time when we were there? I don't remember now. I was too young at that time. You're still young now. Hmm. Well, we better get ready. We'll be leaving soon. Yay! Well, for as long as it doesn't affect the school of the kids, then I'm fine with it. Don't worry. I will handle everything. Okay. Hey, honey. Yes, honey. Come check this out. What is that? Look. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a Santorini-inspired villa. I'm sure the kids will like it too. Oh, yeah. Especially in Don when he sees that swimming pool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's perfect. I love it for our family. Uh, honey. Can you please call uh, the owner? Here's the number and here's the phone. I leave this to you. Romano! You are the expert in negotiation. Hello, this is Vili and Yes. Ma'am, we are interested to lease your villa for three years. Is that possible? Hello. Hello, yes. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, ma'am. There is no problem with three Thank years. Thank you. But I will require six months deposit in cash, three months damage deposit, refundable, if the house is in good order after the term of lease. Okay, so that's six months deposit, three months damage deposit, refundable. Would that be okay? Okay, we'll take it. I will send you the contract of lease by mail. Don't forget to send me your email address. Okay? All right, thank you. Yes, thank you. Honey! Hmm? We got the house. What will I do without you? Exactly. That's why you better behave. I love you, honey. <laughs> You're so corny. Go brush your teeth.
Welcome po, sir. Ma'am, ako po si Ador, the caretaker of Villa Nonita. Nice to meet you, Ma'am Ador. Kids, we are here. Sir, what happened to your head? It's just a minor accident. By the way, siya po si Clara, ang aking asawa, ang aking mga anak, Anton, Hi. Daltea. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you, mga Dor. Nice to meet you too, ma'am. Sige, let's go. Sweetie, you like it? I love it. How about you, sweetie? Wow, look, no way. It's a swimming pool. How do you know? Duh, it's world famous. Whatever. I think I will draw it on my drawing book. It's the world's smallest active volcano. It is one of the deadliest. The last eruption of the volcano was in the year 'ning things. Maybe she's the granddaughter of Mang Ador. What's going on? Hmm? Daddy, I saw Nothing, Daddy. She said she saw a big rat. <laughs> a rat? It is just her imagination again. Romano, this house is beautiful. It's better than the pictures. Mommy! Daddy! Can I check the rooms? Go pick up your room, son. How about you, sweetie? I want to stay at the room beside the garden on the top. How did you know that there's such a room in this part of the house? I just thought so. Is there? My door, do you have a granddaughter? Nan, you're at my last too young to be a mother. Anyway, uh, I asked Pilar to prepare your food. Thank you. Um, Mang Ador, is there anything that I can treat Romano's wound with? I go to town and buy medicine. Thank you very much. Ready. Ma, Myla, my daughter. Nice to meet you, Pa. Hi, Myla. Nice to meet you, too. Ah, let's eat na po. Kids, dinner's ready. Mom, sir, I'm sorry. It took too long to find a first aid kit for your husband. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, sir.
ay yung pilar. Napakasarap nito ang niluto ninyo. It's been a while since I've had Filipino food. Always pizza, pasta. <laughs> Sir, salamat naman at nagustuhan ninyo ang luto ko. Hayaan po ninyo at lagi ko kayong ipagluluto ng Filipino food. I could eat adobo every day. Mm. Manang Pilar, Mang Ador, Myla, why don't you join us for dinner? Ah, uh, eh ma'am, kakahiya naman po. Huwag kayong mahiya. It's not a big deal. Go get your plates and join us. Ah... Uh... Okay po, sir. Okay po, sir. <laughs> wow. The buko pie looks delicious. Hey, you'll have that for dessert, okay? Eat now. What a beautiful name! Nice to meet you, Jennifer! you get that, sweetie? Jennifer? Yes, Daddy. She told me her name. I found her in my room. Well, we better talk to Mangador tomorrow. Your doll, I mean Jennifer, might have a owner. Okay, Daddy. Whoa. This is nice. Maybe the person who owns this room is also an artist. <laughs> oh, boy, you're so sad. And you, why are you so mad? <laughs> that face is so funny. And that one looks so ugly. Hey, look at me. No manners. Why are you standing backwards? I'm talking to you. Can't you hear me? It moving. They were laughing.
think? Did you draw clowns? I told you not to draw clowns. You know your mother is scared of them. No, Dad. I did. Those drawers were already in my room. What the hell is going on, Anton? Why do you always freak out your mother with these darn clowns? No, Dad. I'm telling the truth. Whose signature is this? This is yours. I don't know how it happened, but... Dad! I swear I don't know this. I didn't bring anything. Stop. I... I don't want to hear it. This is the last time. If it ever happens again, I will send you back to Italy to live with your uncle. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Just let her sleep here. Okay. But just for tonight. Few more days and I gotta go back to work. So let's all make the best out of it, okay? Honey, I wish I could spend more time with the kids, yes. especially with me. With you. I'm always with you, honey. Why? Do you already miss me? Romano, the kids are watching. <laughs> That's okay, mommy. It's a millennial thing. <laughs> 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 What do you know about millennials? Just keep quiet and get uh, some food. Okay, I will. Oh, by the way, are you going to the supermarket after lunch, honey? Actually, I will. I was thinking of getting um, some Christmas decorations and a few things for the house. That's good. And you? What do you want to do today? Hmm? I want to swim, Dad. Hey, wow, that's awesome. It's right, Daddy. Jennifer would love to swim with us. Wait a minute. We don't have a TV here. I want a huge TV for this house, right? Myla, uh, do you mind coming with me to the supermarket? Okay, well, sure. Um, I need to buy a few Christmas decorations for the house and a TV. going to wait for daddy. She told us to wait for him. It's okay. Jennifer is here. She told me she was really that. What can your doll do if we drown? Let's just wait for daddy. And why are you talking to your doll? Because she's my friend. 
Oh, girls. All this weird stuff all day. something in the pool. Dead. There are dead bodies, Dad. There are this dead. Bed is full of blood. I don't see anything. Can you please put this in the kitchen? Sure, ma'am. And then follow us downstairs and we'll have merienda, okay? Okay, pop. Oh, ayun na pala niyantay ng mga bata. Hello, sir. Good afternoon po. Chocolate delivery po. Tamang-tama ang dating mo. Kanina pa inaantay ng ma'am at sir ko yan. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ito na po. Ang bait nila, hindi sila matapobre. Oo nga, Ador. Sobrang mapagpakumbaba sila. Kaya nga, alam mo, nakagaanan ko ng loob si Ma'am Clara. Alam mo, Ador, yung bang manika na pinaglalaroan ni Altea? Alin? Yung tinatawag nilang Jennifer? Oo. O bakit? Nakita ko na yun eh. Hindi ko nga lang matandaan kung saan. Uy. Baka mamaya gusto mong laruin yun, ha? At bumalik ka sa pagkabata. <laughs> ano ka ba namang matanda ka? Puro kakalokohan. Hmm? Kakainis ka. Baka yun na yung TV. Sanali, kukunin ko muna.
Something's not right about this place. I mean, the strange things happening in visions. Romano, can you explain what happened in the pool, what the kids saw in the pool, and what I saw in the pictures? They can't to our room. Why? What's going on? Do what they say. Just go back to bed, sweetie. Mom and dad are here. I'll get Jennifer for you, okay? Mom, I want Jennifer here. Okay, I'll get Jennifer for you right now.
my door. Strange things are happening here. Have you ever seen something unusual? What do you know about this house? Sir, we have been staying in this villa for almost a decade now, but we have never encountered anything like this. A door is right, sir. Do you want me to get a spiritista? Kilala siya sa ating barrio. Her name is Nanay Karin. I need to know what's happening here. Yes, sir. Tayo na. Magandang gabi po, Nanay Karing. Magandang gabi naman. Ano may paglilingkod ko sa inyo? Ah, Nanay Karing, mga amo ko po. Si Sir Romano, si Ma'am Clara, si Altea, at saka si Anton po. Ah, Nanay Karing, may kailangan lang po kayong malaman. Sige, pasok kayo sa loob. ng espiritong kasama niyo ngayon. Mukhang may mission pa siya na hindi pa nagagawa. Wala ba kayong alam na may nakagalit sila? Kaya eh, may tao silang sinaktan? Nanay Karing, mababait po sila. Sila ngayon nakatira sa Villa Nonita. Villa Nonita? Bakit lang sila nangungupahan? Malagi man lugar na yun. Di ba mga Adore, ikaw ang caretaker ng lugar na yun? Wala ka bang nararamdaman man lang o napapansin na kakaiba sa lugar na yun? Yun ang pinagtataka namin ni Pilar eh. Wala naman kami nakikita ang kakaiba sa bahay na yun. Uumpisahan ko na.
close your eyes and hold hands. Pasensya na kayo. Hindi ko sila kaya. Napakalakas nila. Lalo pat hindi nila alam na. Sila ay patay na. Sino sila? At bakit kami ang ginugulo? Lumayas na kayo! Layas!
Daddy, there's two guys spying outside the gate. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. We saw them. I think this is what the kid in the closet said. That the bad guys will come in soon. Again, Daddy. She's talking with her doll. Magador, have you seen anyone outside? No, sir. I didn't notice. Please check the perimeter of the villa. Yes, sir. Please come and play with me. You can stop here. That's the house of Lulu Ikwi. I hope Lulu Ikwi can answer your questions. I really hope so. Lulu Ikwi? Lulu Ikwi? Si Adol po ito! Very familiar. 
Of course. You look just like my friend's son. I've been here for five days now. I've just arrived from Italy with my family. Where are you staying? Villa Nonita. Villa Nonita? Yes. You don't remember anything, do you? It's been a long time. The house has been waiting for you. You came here for the truth. You have to look at the owners of the house. You know them already. All the answers you need are in the house. Ugh. I have something to give you. This is for your children, for their protection. Sir, nating din mo ba yung mga sinasabi niya? Hindi pa. Magulo. Thanks. Listen. It's the doll. The doll. Keep the doll away from your daughter. What do you know about the doll? I will show you something. It will explain everything. Go ahead. In 1906, there's a story about a young girl, Ambrosia. Ambrosia had a doll named Jennifer. That doll was given to her by Felipe during her seventh birthday. They were apart for 15 years because Felipe went schooling. When he graduated, he came back and courted Ambrosia. Beautiful young girl fell in love with a young man, Felipe. They had a beautiful love story. But something went terribly wrong. Felipe was accused of killing his own grandfather. The farmers were angry and put Felipe to death, burying him beside the old Kalampan tree. But after what happened to Felipe, every day they saw Ambrosia beside the tree and she only talked to Jennifer, her doll. Ambrosia became ill and cursed everyone, claimed she will return from hell to avenge her love. Then one day they saw her hanging on the tree and the doll was staring at her. Since then they said that all people who touches Jennifer were enchanted and cursed themselves to death. I tell you this doll Jennifer is dangerous. It's pure evil. Burn it. This is the only way to set you free. Yes, sir. I will do it. Thank you. Good. Go with God. Hello, Romano. Where are you? I'm on my way. Clara, please, listen carefully. Get the doll and burn it. Okay? What? You mean Jennifer? But why? I will explain everything later. Okay.
Myla. 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 Are you looking for this? Give me the doll. What will you intend to do with it? No. You can't have her. You will destroy her. Myla! Why are you disrespecting Mom Clara? So, si Jennifer? That doll is evil and it's possessing you. What do we do, Mom? I need you to get the holy water. Yes, Mom. Okay, you mop it. Okay, you mop it. Okay, you mop it. Okay, you mop it. Sangala de Jesus! Lumales ka sa Buti na lang at nailigtas ka ng tatay mo. At nakakawala ka sa masamang espiritu. Pasensya ka, nanak. Wala na kasi akong magawa eh. Muntik mo nang mapatay ang mama mo. Patawarin mo ako kung nasaktan kita. Kay... Kay pala may gawa na na. <laughs> <laughs> now that the doll has been burned, according to Lolo Igme, the spirits will leave the house. Honey, why are you still awake? I'm still searching for the first owner of the house. It's not Nanita. No. She bought it from a bank auction. It was abandoned, so she renovated it for over a year. Well, honey, I'm really tired. So 
I'm going to go back to bed, okay? Yeah. Okay, good night. Good night. Honey, 
What are you doing? Are you looking for something? Yes, I need to find that key. I'm sure it's here. It was thrown here. Come on. What key? Are you losing your house keys or your car key? No, it's another key. Please, help me find it. But... I found it. Yes. This is it. This is not possible. December 2, 1998. This cannot be real. for you. Is this for real? You are giving us the property. Advance Merry Christmas. You deserve it. Grazie, mamma. You really loved me like your own son. I want you to take care of this house. I know you can preserve the beauty of it. It was your papa's heritage. Thank you so much, mamma. Let's have lunch. I cooked your favorite adobo. Oh, you got it. I'm excited to taste it. Ernesto, you're here. Have lunch with us. Bravo, bravo. Beautiful scene. The mother and the bastard. You think you can do what you want? 
How could you do this to me? I have given you what you wanted. This is really what I wanted. You love that bastard more than me? Your own son? Ernesto, don't shout at our mother. Shut up, you bastard. She is not your mother. Your mother is a puta! Stop it, Ernesto! Humano! Oh. How dare you? You don't know her. You will regret this, Romano. I'm sure you will regret this. Bastardo. I'm thinking to give this property to Ernesto. He deserves it more than I do. You know, honey, now that Mama is gone, I think it's the best thing to do. Let's just go back to Italy. Yes. That would be better. This house has become a sad place for us. Get the doll. Uncle Ernesto, give it to me. Uncle Ernesto? Honey, I really can't understand my brother. He gave me a gift. Hey, honey, at the end of the day, he's still your brother. I know that he was cold during the funeral, but let's just try to understand him. Her name is Jennifer. Jennifer? Is that the name you gave her? No, Daddy. It was written here. It's a beautiful name. Anna, run upstairs. Hide with your brother.
I can't read either. Where is mommy and daddy? Why don't they get us? Bakit nyo pinatay? Wala sa plano natin ito. Ang usapan natin, tatakutin nyo lang. Mga bobo! Mga gago! Putang ina lumaban! Namukha na ko! Sasabit ka rin! Ganun. Ano to? Ha? Mga putang ina? Pinagnakawan nyo pa? Exay na yun. Saka, teka, teka. Ito binayaran mo kami para gawin ang moral ng trabaho? Ha? Sino may bigas sa akin sa gusto kong gawin? Huwag mo sabihin na awa ka sa mga gagong to. Eh, plano mo ito eh. Tara na pare, pabayaan natin yan. Mga putang inin yung mayayamang kayo. Yan ang problema sa inyo. Mga ganit. O yan o. Linisin mong kalat. O yan na. Gago. Linisin mo yan. Ay, bapak hindi niya mayroon ayos nun eh. Gago siya. Ba't yung mag-aayos nun eh? Gago siya. Ernesto, I want you to have the villa as my Christmas present for you. Clara and I decided to live in Italy for good. Merry Christmas, my brother.
Welcome to Villa Nunita. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you.